hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> When you're gonna do it, hey? We're not talking questions like what your usual people are asking, like Rob Tebbett or Coogan Cassis. We're talking real boxing questions. So when you're gonna come and do it, Eddie? You've got my email. I'm gonna send you my new phone number today. Give me a ring, Eddie. Don't you be a bottle job. The story so far, well, former heavyweight from Leeds, Denzel Brown, acquitted of murder on a trial at Leeds, aka Denzel Brown, the Teflon Don, walks from court without a blemish on his CV. Anthony Joshua and his team won the WBA, WBO, IBF, IBO belts back in Saudi on a stinker of a show while fighting scared to death Lewis Ritson training hard up at Fano's in Hartlepool and it's looking like he's better than ever according to his advisor Phil Jaffa Jeffries the Smiths are in limbo Paul Smigger Smig Smith works for Liverpool Council at Liverpool Council and he's walking about 18 stone plus with a huge beard. He looks like Jim Royal if you look at him. Denny Sobson's dad, or Denny Sobson Sr. shall I say, he's still frozen in an ice cream van in Michigan, USA. And a cure has still not been found for him, bless him. But if they find one, I'll be first to know and I'll let you all know. So let's hope they find one. Adam, Mr. Bean Smith and Vladimir Klitschko still haven't done any more leg raises in gym together. As Vlad, Vlad thinks that Mr. Bean is kind of creepy. And you know you are, don't you? Bean! Run a bean, could have been, should have been, never been. Baked bean, creepy bean. Where are them bodies buried, bean? Johnny Nelson, still company man of the year at Sky. And he's not really going anywhere, is he? But it is what it is. Johnny knows it as well. He knows he's a company man, so I'd expect more people to be losing their jobs at Sky. But Johnny will be keeping his, I can assure you. Scott Quigg's retired and is not going to work at the Crayon Factory in Leeds. Instead, he's going to be training fighters at the Wildcard Gym with Freddie Roach. That'll be interesting, won't it? Can you imagine conversation at night time while they're having dinner between Freddie Roach and Scott Quigg? <laughs> eh? That'd be unbelievable, wouldn't it? Logan Paul's fight with that American footballer is not happening. But should Eddie Earn need any PR, I expect something similar to be wheeled out on IFL to test the fans' mindset. Spencer X, a.k.a. Spencer Fearing, a.k.a. Malcolm X, is now officially known as the PR guy for MTK, so I'm told. So I'd expect some serious Spencer X videos out soon on IFL TV or Sky Sports. Contrary to what people tell me, Vito out the Soprano is not Steffi Ball's boyfriend. It's not true. And Vito says it's not true either, as they are not boyfriend and boyfriend. No, according to Vico, Steffi Bulls is fiance. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> eh? <Hey? Hey? laughs> 
Yes, AJ versus Parker was the decline of AJ. Tesco, Joe and Eddie Earn are not buddies no more. According to uh, Joe Tesco Joe, he's only buddy in boxing who he cares about at the moment is Callum Mundo Smith. <sighs> <laughs> you liked that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PokyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking.